Hi folks, welcome back to another Fly Tying tutorial. So, something really simple this week. Uh, I posted a picture on Facebook of a number of messages asking to show how it's tied. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vice then is a Hanak H450 barbless hook at size 14. This is the Jig Superb. It's on a medium wire and it's finished in black nickel. The thread I'm going to be using today is from Simplify. It's Nano Silk at 100D or uh, 6 aught, and as you can see it's black. As always with the nano silks I'm just going to add a small spot of super glue to the shank of my hook before I get a bed of thread down. I just use the thread to spread the glue and then once I've got it started just make sure that beads in place I don't like them moving about while I'm tying, so I like to get a little ramp just on to the shank to stop that from bouncing around while I'm tying the fly. Okay, so once that's in place, uh, I'm going to use some 0 0.3 copper wire. I want the rib to be seen. And I'm just going to add that to the fly. I'm going to come right back, probably past where a barb would be in a barbed hook, but uh, I want this fly to to have plenty of body in it. Now, uh, I wouldn't usually be doing this because I've done lots of different bugs, but I put uh, a picture of this fly up on Facebook and I've had a few messages asking that I do a tutorial on it. It is a fairly straightforward bug ideal for grilling. So I'm using some of Andrew's scruffy dubbing and this is the natural boosted. Uh, hard to beat in my humble opinion. And I'm just going to get some dubbing on there. Now uh, I probably should have mentioned at the start the bead I'm using is a Hanak 4mm slotted bead and as you can see it's a black bead. Now I've got the, uh, the dubbing on and I'm just going to start to wind it on. Now I know that I've not got enough here. Uh, I knew that was going to happen but luckily I've got another little bit that will just finish that off. Like so. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then the wire rib comes around, as you can see, because it's nice and thick, it's not going to get lost when I start to scruff this bug out. Get three tons of that, and then the last turn's coming up over the top of the bead, and then I'm going to catch that in with my thread. I'm just going to support the hook as I'm pulling quite tight on the nano silk to pull that wire into the head of the bead. Now once I'm content it's in there, I can move that away. Now here's the gist, and here's the, the bust really. So for years and years I've been living off the back off using this stuff. Now it's Hens number 17. And people say to me, oh you can get that in separate packets now and it's just the same. It's not just the same. I've got about three different packets of Hens 17 in my drawer and none of them are like this tube that I've got here, which uh, I must have a look out for. I mean, the, as you can see, the rest of the stuff's hardly used, but the uh, the Hen 17 is a fantastic collar on these flies. But it might be just a confidence thing on my part, you know. It might well be that I could stick any kind of dubbing on and the fly would work just as well. But as I've always said, when you're fishing, it boils out down a lot to confidence. And I've got tremendous confidence in this collar on my flies. Now I'm just going to tie that in. I'll pull that all to the back, a couple of turns in front of that dubbing. And then before I finish, I'm going to add some UV resin to my thread. Uh, you can use super glue if you wish. Uh, you'll get the same result. Probably a better result actually using super glue. But... 
So I'll get that into place, pull it all tight. Just take away my thread. And then I'll cure it off. Now for grailing, it doesn't get any better than this in my humble opinion. I'm just going to come in with my wire brush, tease out them fibres. And over the years, this has accounted for so many grilling. I can't even begin to tell you. So there's the fly, uh, scruffed out. I think the one in the Facebook picture was a bit tidier than this. But as you can see, it's very quick, very simple, very effective.